Hey everyone, Coops here from the whole box and dice. Let's get these Planeswalker decks out of the way, but we will be doing a video on them definitely. Let's get our first Armon Ket bundle of the series opened up. I am so pumped to be able to get into and get my hands on more of this set. It is the most fun to play. It works so well as a limited set. It's some amazing interactions. Love the graveyard recycle. Even the dice look so pretty. Check out that thing. Pretty sure they're all this color as well. I haven't seen one a different color. And I didn't even realize they actually have a set of tokens in the bundle now. And so like all the embalm creatures and even just like worms and zombies. That's amazing. It's such a clever idea. Certainly, you know, no matter what the future sets look like, I think this is a must to have a set like this. A little bit more of incentive to buy the new fat packs, to buy the bundles. Oh, that light is horrible. You cannot see what that is. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to get these videos up and out to you so you could see some of the new product as I open it. The Sacred Cat, some of the Anointed Priest. Anointed Priest was amazing for me in my pre-release. A couple of Warriors, a Hippo. Yes, the Hippo token looks so amazing. Saw that last night for the first time. Just a huge shout out really quick before we start to Good Games, Double Jump. Cheshire plays games as well. Thank you so much for the opportunity and the hookup to go to the pre-release. Got my hands on some amazing product. Got to play Magic with some super cool people. Magma Spray, Trial of Strength. That was super handy. Forming Glyph Keeper is our first rare and an Anointer Priest token at the back. Not bad, Glyph Keeper. Pretty happy with that. Definitely card that I think, you know, has a bit of value around it. I do like Sphinxes as a creature type. A little bit dirty. They didn't do a Mythic Sphinx, but I guess you've already got one from the Zendi block. So that's all right. I guess you can't have too many amazing Mythic Sphinxes. Let's have a look. Pack number two of our bundle. I am so sorry. This light is flickering everywhere. That's maybe a little bit better. Cartouche of Ambition. The Entangler. Cultivator. Another Drake. And, oh, the stupid Zombie Lord. Start to finish. And, oh, okay, awesome. One of the dual cycling lands. And another, oh, that should not be in the rare pile. <laughs> not too bad. One of, the, one of the rare lands. One of the cycle lands from our second booster. Interesting to see where these sit value-wise whilst we have both sets of the, the allied lands, you know, in in print, um, you know, whether they do them as, you know, whether they do them as, um, you know, like they're more valuable with the cycling versus potentially the ability to come in not tapped kind of thing. So that will be interesting. Oh, speak of the devil, that's another one. Also got some of the tokens at the back. Just a bit of a, a pro tip with the tokens. Just like fold them like an accordion and you'll be able to like slowly like, you know, pick them all out kind of thing. They don't like pop out. They're not like, um, it's not like when you buy a board game and you've got all the pieces. It's more kind of like a, I don't know, almost like ripping a check out of a checkbook kind of thing. Or I don't really know a good example, like a pay slip off your, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of stuff you people use with perforated edges. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. This is probably a better angle, I think. Blighted Bat. The Haze of Pollen, Love, Fog. I tell you what, if Green, White, Gideon, Fog becomes a thing, gee, that'll make me mad. That is just a horrible deck. The Curse, Manglehorn, looks amazing in foil. Got to see one of them last night as well. A Crocodilian, ah, oh, Cat Lord, and a Full Art Land. That's amazing. The Cat Lord is so nuts. One of the trials we had last night, we had this awesome event where... You have to like satisfy a whole bunch of trials as the day or as the night went on. And one of them was killing someone with a cat or winning a game with a cat. And I lost my match to the stupid flash cat. Cancel looks amazing. Looks so good in foil as well. Shed weakness. Descent is deliverance. That's definitely going to see some play. The hyena pack. Impeccable timing. The twins. The shepherd monitor. Grim strider. Oh, soul scar mage. Nice. Really like the Soul Scar Mage. I think that will definitely see some play. And I like all the pieces that Mono Red got. You know, it's probably hard to build it out of your pre release kit, but it definitely looks like this kind of Mono Red aggro with a little bit of burn is going to be a thing. And that makes me super pumped because I love Mono decks. They're just they're not simple to make, but they're, they have a, a beautiful simplicity to them all in the one color. You get this awesome synergy through your whole deck and red is you know used to be an amazing deck and i'm glad to see it getting some love 
Liliana's Mastery, not too bad. Like all these cards, you know, all these enchantments that have this value where they have an ongoing static effect, but they also put a couple of bodies on the battlefield. Look out for stuff like that in your pre-release. It is just nuts. Anointed Priest was insane for me in my pre-release last night. Trespasser's Curse. Final reward. The Evolving Wilds looks beautiful as well. Trial of Ambition is insane for just two. Even Wind Guide, that's really good as well. Oh, and Glorious End. Even Wind Guide is a super, super solid card, but Glorious End, our first Mythic. I know we pulled Liana, but that was on just one of the loose boosters, but oh, that is amazing. What a great start to the Armon Ket. Season a mythic in our first bundle. Thank you so much. Who's the red god? Oh, um, I was going to say Hapatra, but it's not. It's Hazaret, the red god, red mythic, protection of the Hekma. Cast out that card's nuts as well. Drake Haven, definitely like that. Oh, that looks nice. And a full art mountain, awesome. Got to see some of the uh, full out, uh, full out. <laughs> Got to see some of the full out lands they look amazing in foil as well so does this card so does hieroglyphic uh, illumination if you can get your hands on it that looked pretty awesome a camel the bird warrior yes some land destruction open into one is not bad as well unlimited if you're playing blue honored hydra oh got a mask oh is that like is this like damaged up the top there oh there's like a crease at the top oh that's horrible that's that's super annoying that's really annoying, but that's awesome that we got the Loyal Retainer as a masterpiece. But that sucks. There's a bit of damage. All right, you know what? Without seeing what's in this last boost pack, let's do a giveaway right now on this video. Comment. Tell me something that you learned at your pre-release or something you were pumped to see work or your favorite card that you got or even just what was your dated card and tell me if you would like the Invocation or the mythic unless oh nope shadow of the grave in this one and i'll send that to you anywhere in the world if you're okay with a little bit of damage on the invocation you can certainly have that or you can go for the glorious end it is a tough decision comment on the video let me know got to be subbed as well to enter in oh, i think they look pretty good i think that looks awesome the loyal retainers it sucks it's got a bit of damage on it i think they are much better looking than the pictures do justice to them but everyone, stay close to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Plenty more openings coming at you over the next couple of days. Good luck at your pre-release. I've been Coops. This is the Whole Box and Dice. Peace.